Hello, my name is Laura McGregor. Um, it's my privilege every week to help edit the Sunday service and work uh, with the church management team. They've asked me to put together a quick video to help the congregation on um, hosting a, what's called a Facebook watch party or some thoughts and discussions on how to lead a small group. So the first thing that you want to do is go to your Facebook um, profile page and under what's on your mind, this is where we're going to do the work. So you would go to create a post and under these three dots here, you're going to go to watch party. And here you're going to type in uh, Lakeside. And what it's going to do is it's going to give you a list of all of the videos that are uploaded. So you can decide if you want to focus on a particular worship service or if you'd like to perhaps um, watch one of the devotionals with some of your friends. The idea of a watch party is that um, everybody can watch the video together and interact and comment um, uh, within you know, a small group. So what you would do is, let's say we wanted to do that for this worship service that was on Sunday, we would select that there and scroll down and you'll see next. And here you're able to determine who you'd like to share it with. So on your Facebook or off your Facebook, you can choose public. If it's just your friends, you can do there. If you have a small group of specific people, you can go ahead and choose the specific friends. So for this, I'm going to invite um, Carolyn. And do I have Norm on here? Yeah, and Norm. So these are the friends that will see my post. And I can go ahead and just save the changes. And then I'm going to uh, write a little invitation. Uh, please join me to watch this amazing, amazing service together. And then after, um, in a moment, I'm going to um, share with you, uh, I'm going to share with you some talking points. And so uh, if you wanted to, you could determine some of the points that you like to discuss or some ground rules for the kind of discussion you want to have. And I'm going to give you some ideas of those in a minute. So you might want to write those here. So something like, um, you know, tell us, uh, how about comment with the uh, passages or ideas that impacted you the most. And in, like I say, in a moment, I'll share some more ideas for that. Um, and then you would just go ahead and post that. And then the, a notification would go to your friends um, and you would be able to all watch that together. So the best way to do this is um, either to pre-coordinate, so let people know that you're gonna do a watch party, say Sunday at 10 a.m. when the service starts, or perhaps you'd like to, you know, all get together after uh, it's run live and you can do that. Um, you can say that you're going to do that, say at one o'clock or whatever, or even sometimes during the week, uh, whatever suits you best. So you can go ahead and just post that and then notifications will go to all your friends. And then once it's up and running, it's going to start playing and you can comment and those comments and everything will be contained within this post. So just moving on to some of the ideas that we wanted to share with you and just for full disclosure, um, this, and I'll share the link at the end, but these, these points come from a website, um, small group church, I think it is.com. Um, and so essentially, as a facilitator, uh, if that was the role that you decided to take, here's some, uh, some ideas for how to create good discussion within your groups. And so in the first instance, you want to sort of add questions that bring connection. Um, so these are icebreaker questions, or perhaps somebody's got a praise report that they like to share, or just a general check-in, like how is the week going? I think that those are particularly interesting at this time of year, um, this time and this season with COVID. You know, it's nice to just check in with people and see how they are.
Uh, the second part that you might want to do is get a little bit deeper into that. And these uh, questions typically follow the reading of a Bible passage. So uh, the idea is to help move people into that spiritual discussion where the word of God is explored and pondered. Um, and of course, insightful perspectives can be gleaned. Um, and so here's some examples here. So in your own words, what is the overall message of this passage? What stands out to you as you reread those scripture verses? And why do you think the Lord thought it was necessary to include these verses in the Bible? So these thoughts and ideas are, are leading to great discussion and dissection and hopefully move uh, the the community that you're building a little bit further, and also to better understand the message. Uh, the third point that they've made is uh, questions that can cause great reflection. So these are questions where you encourage people to talk more about them within the context of biblical truth. So um, you're shifting the conversation for people to share on a more personal level. Um, and what the, the author says here is really interesting, that he finds that he learns a lot about people during the reflection questions. He learns about people's past and families and successes and failures and life lessons. And through that process builds, you know, deeper, more interesting relationships. Um, and here are some of the types of questions that you could ask. So, have you had someone in your life that modeled the principles in the passage and, and have them explain why? Can you think of a situation or circumstance in your own life where you experienced what these verses are teaching? And what are some of the benefits of, of applying the verse to your life? I think all of those are really great questions and certainly add that reflective position to it. In the fourth, we want to maybe in the fourth example here, we're looking at provoking introspection. And uh, the author says, this is where some of the, the deepest uh, vulnerability and insight can come, where we build trust with our small group or our watch party. Um, and really when you're thinking about these introspection or provoking questions, I should say, um, it's really important to kind of think about how you as a leader, if that is the role that you wanted to take, and, and it's not necessary to have a leader, um, just somebody who's coordinating really, but how would you answer these for yourself? And how could you stretch yourself a little bit and open up to the group? Um, and you might want to have some assistant leaders here at suggesting, and you can encourage them maybe ahead of time if you shared all of the questions that you were going to come up with. So everybody can sort of start to think about how, how, they, would, how they would share uh, their answers. And when we do this, what we do is we create um, that intimacy and that vulnerability. And I think it's, it's that in particular from a leadership perspective that allows people the safe space to share what they feel without a risk of feeling badly or they might sound stupid or whatever, whatever, do you know? The, the, the whole point and the intention is to really try and dive into it in, in a greater, with greater purpose and to really nourish the meanings that are coming from that. And some of the examples here are, what are the obstacles to applying the verse to our life? And has anyone recently struggled with, fill in the blank? And uh, we've been discussing this, what is the Holy Spirit showing you personally? Um, and it's saying you can go ahead and brainstorm, that says brainstorm, but it should say brainstorm, <laughs> or customized questions that are specific to the direction that you want to take your meeting. So here's some samples, and we really hope that that helps to get the creative um, juices flowing. And, and like I say, all of these tips and guidance were borrowed from the smallgroupchurches.com with our gratitude, and you can go ahead and check out their website there. If you have any questions, please feel free to message us on the Facebook Messenger. So Lakeside Presbyterian Church, and you can just go ahead and send us a message um, right there. Send us a message. And either Carolyn or myself can help you navigate that if you've got any problems. Um, we hope that this was uh, beneficial, and we wish you 
lots of great communication and communion with each other at these very difficult times. God bless you all.